All right, so today we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to install the Doki Doki Literature Club mod. I did a stream earlier about it, and then I found out my mic was not connected the entire time. I was explaining how to do it, but yeah, yeah, yep, it was just no audio. That sucked. So uh, what you're gonna wanna do? Go to your local files. Have this ready. You're soon gonna reopen and close it. So you go into your right here your doki doki literature club mod pack right let's go back the two min files you're gonna need is the mod doki doki literature club which which is what gives you the logo the logo and the music so logo did the um, doki doki literature club and the music and it gives you all the character pngs of all the characters and stuff like that the monica sprites in novella chapter which is this one, the resource pack and the shared assets pack is what is what gets you the 2D meta, which is this one right here, right? Honestly, you don't really need any of the skins right here unless you want to like every time you open the game, that character model will stay on the game as long as you keep it, which is the body and all that PNG, right? I already have all three downloaded, which is the Doki Doki Literature Club, which is this one over here. That's the main one. You're going to need this. All right. We have that. You're going to want to go to your, where is it? Your main file for me side on the top left, as you, you see, remember your BPINX, EX, you go to your plugins, universal asset loader. You need this a hundred percent. Go to assets, open up your mod pack, grab this, slap it in there. If you have anything in here already, delete it. You're not going to need it. Or if you have any mods that already has an add-ons configuration, that adds assets configuration, get rid of that. Get rid of that whole thing. Is it a conf it's going to conflict with each other. Let's close that. Close that. You open up your me side, right? Okay. Wait for that to load up, and there you go. You hear the music, the Doki Doki Literature Club music, and the logo, right? Next, what you're gonna want to do is reopen that file you were just in earlier which is your main game file, go all the way back to your main site, right? Go to me site full data, go down here. All right, all right, stay right there. You're gonna open up your Monica sprites file, right? Which is the shared assets, dot 20 and resource assets, right? Let's go back over here. Look for share, shared assets 20, which is right there. You can slap both of them on there. Um, replace. Do not skip these files. Do replace. Boom. So you just switched out this asset file, which is this one, and then the resource assets, which is right over here. Then you're going to want to go over here, share the assets, do the same thing. I don't think you have to do both, but I did both just in case. Let's go back over here to the main, right? So open up your game again. Okay, so that should give you the 2D Doki Doki character, we load novels. I never played the game so I don't know any of the character names specifically, so my bad. If I just kept calling them Doki Doki characters, I just, I've never played the game myself. Skip, 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 skip. You said to grab it. Maybe that's a game I, I need to play soon. Doki Doki Literature Club. And there we go. Now we got this character. 
back to main menu. So now we're gonna show you um, with the first with the first mod, you already have your Doki Doki Literature Club. Go to close add-ons and Monica hair. See right there, Monica face changes the eye color and close. So you, you have that already. That comes with the first mod you put into Asset Loader, the Universal Asset Loader. That was the that comes with the, with this. So just go to Add-ons. Also, if this doesn't pop out for you automatically, just go to Add-ons and then click Trailer Mode and then go back, and then it should pop out by then, right? All right. So now every time you open the game this character model will kind of despawn and it will go back to its original original uh, meta right if you don't want to do that every single time well you grab this file over here which is the skin files right here you download them right um slow download we are for that Go right there, go back to your files for your game. You're at the main, right? Go to data, custom. Where is the file I slapped on there? There we go. Slap that in there. Like that. I already have it on there. I just want to show you. Do that. Then reopen your game. See how it resets back to your original meta? If you don't want that happening every single time, do what I just did and it should be the first one. So it would automatically pull this up every single time you have the game. And all you would have to do is change the hair. See? And that's how you install the Doki Doki Literature Club mod, the whole thing. And um, let's see. Let's open this full screen again. Go back to files. So you could do that to all, all these character files are under right here. So you got Monica, Natsuki, Siori, and Yuri. Remember, these two are the main ones. This is for the 2D one, and this is your main one that comes with the music, the character models, and the logo. All in one. But if you want to do it manually, manually like this, like the way I did it, you can do it like that too. I hope this video was um, wasn't too kind of mixed around and kind of easy to understand. If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment down below, and I'll 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 respond or make another video on it. And uh, I am out of here. Hopefully, hopefully that was help. Hopefully that was helpful. Bye bye.